What's up everyone, this is CyberNud, and today I have a cyber stack profile for you guys. Of course, this build is going to be a budget build because I'm going to be using three of the brand new uh, Power Code Link structure decks. So yeah, that is the brand new structure deck that was just released. So that's pretty much the rule for this video is that I can only use cards from that structure deck. So this deck that I'm going to be showing you guys is just $30 to build because of that. So let me know, of course, down in the comments if you guys enjoy, you know, seeing a video like this. You want to see more in the future, especially budget builds because that's just fun. And uh, also let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and go through the cards and I'll show you guys what I came up with. All right, so starting us off, I am running two of the, well, other boss monster of the deck, technically, I guess, and that is Segmental Dragon. So yeah, it's the other ultra you get from the structure deck. Basically, uh, this card's pretty cool because you can actually normal summon it. It becomes a little bit weaker if you do, but also, too, it has an effect that's even kind of like a regeki. So, I like having access to a stronger monster, especially, again, we're using just the cards from the structure deck, so you, you want to have access to something a little bit strong when you get the chance to, and uh, with its effects and everything, too, making it easy to bring out and all that, it works out really well. So, I, I definitely recommend it, especially in a build like this. Uh, yeah, I wanted to have a monster that was a little bit more powerful besides always just having to rely on uh, Link Monsters that were stronger. Then after that, I am running two of uh, Datacorn. Datacorn's pretty cool because we have a lot of different ways of like, you know, sending monsters to the graveyard and everything. And the thing with this uh, structure deck is that you want to swarm the field. You want to get monsters out there. So with this one, uh, with my build on this, uh, there's plenty of ways where I can get this card to the graveyard. I can revive it. I can also bring it, you know, out from the deck and stuff too. And that way when it's special summoned, you also get a token from that. So, obviously, with Cyverse, more monsters, the more tokens you have, the more Link monsters you're able to bring out, especially with these new Link monsters, because it doesn't matter if they're tokens or not on all of these. I mean, they just require monsters. So, uh, this card's actually really good for helping you get more things on the field to Link Summon with, man. Yeah, it's just that simple. Also, I'm using two of Sea Archiver. That's one of the super rares in this. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the, the main cards of the structure deck. It's one of the best ones because uh, it's just another way you can get more monsters out there. It has good defense as well, but mainly it's just like, you know, when you're summoning a monster that is, you know, then linked to one of your monsters already on the field, you know, you summon that link zone, then uh, you can just special summon this card. And that's your main strategy with anything Cybers. More monsters, the better. That means more link monsters. Then after that, I'm also running two of uh, Flame Buffalo. Yeah, this card is actually pretty interesting. This is actually one of my favorites of the structure deck, honestly, too, because... With this deck, there's not a lot of draw power, especially when you're using, you know, the cards from that you get from this. And um, what I like about this card is that when it's removed from the field, you get rid of a Cyverse from your hand, and then you're able to draw two cards. So it's actually a pretty good draw engine. And also, being removed from the field means that if you link someone with this card, it's removed. So then you get to, you know, discard a Cyverse and draw two cards from it. It really does help out, and having that little bit of a draw engine kind of thing... Is great, and you're getting a Link Monster out of it too, more than likely, because you Link Summon with it. And also after that, I'm using three of the brand new uh, Anti-Alien. So yeah, this card is another one of the new ones from the Structure Deck, obviously, and the uh, main reason I like using it is because it's a strong level 4 monster. I mean, you know, it has 1,900 attack, that's really good. It can give you a possible extra normal summon, so being able to bring out more Cybers, again, amazing. And also, if that was enough too, I like its last effect, where if it is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you get to draw a card from it too. So, being a strong monster, where you get a normal summon and can possibly even draw a card from it, is pretty awesome. So uh, it's another one I definitely recommend because, again, with this deck, with Cyverse being kind of weaker monsters that become stronger by Link Summoning, uh, it's good to have a, a strong monster that's strong by itself even, too, that can help you out. So definitely recommend it for that reason. After that, I'm also running three of the brand new uh, Lady Debug. So yeah, this card is probably one of my favorite cards from the Structure Deck, honestly. It adds so much to Cyverse. It's one of the main reasons to get the Structure Deck, too. If you're just building Cyverse even without, you know, buying three of these structure decks, you want to get that card because it is really good for them. Basically, it's just a searcher. That's what's great about it. And plain and simple, that's what you need for a deck like this because you're going to run out of cards in your hand because you're just summoning over and over. So having a searcher obviously is going to help you out. So yeah, whether it's normal or special summoned, you get to search for a level three or lower cybers. Really great to have that for that reason. And normally too, you're just special summoning or bringing out so many monsters from your hand. It's great to have more monsters to be able to do that with. 
Then, of course, uh, three of Cyverse Gadget, the other main card I really like from this deck as well, because another card we've been missing from Cyverse for quite a while, the OCG's had it for a while, and it just adds a lot to the deck as well. I mean, it has a way of helping you get more monsters out. And also, too, what I like is that even whenever you link summon with it, afterwards you get a token from that, which then you can lead to another link summoning if you want. It's really great for that, and yeah, being able to even like revive monsters, like I said, uh, weaker monsters and stuff too, it works out really well. And again, it's another one of those monsters you're going to want to use in even a regular Cybers build, because it just helps out a lot, and again, tokens, monsters, more you have, the better. And then for last, our Cybers, I'm using one of Launcher Commander. This card is mainly good because it can help power up your Cyverse monsters. I mean, this deck kind of has that theme anyway. Of course, power code, I guess, makes sense. And even with the field spell and everything, too, having another way to power up your monsters, again, because they're usually pretty weak. Cyverse is just kind of like that. Uh, being able to do that, you can do some massive damage. So having a monster that can help, you know, make them even stronger works really well. And then since these were reprinted with the structure deck, I am using two of uh, Jaragito and then, of course, three of Reborn Tengu. Both of these are just great because you can get them on the field easily. You want to be able to link summon. I like using both these for that reason because, yeah, since you're not able to get access to some other Cyverse monsters because we're only using this, then uh, having access to both of these just helps me get more monsters out there. I mean, Reborn Tengu, I remember when it was getting hype whenever link summoning was first announced because, yeah, it helps you clear the deck. It helps you kind of thin down the deck and then you can keep having a monster to link summon with. It really works out for you. And Jirigito is great too because it has pretty good attack easy to bring out, just bring it out during the battle phase like that, gives you some life points and stuff too, and then, uh, yeah, just having another way to bring out a monster easily in your side of the field, there you go, <laughs> that's amazing, so I think it's great to run both of these for that reason, and uh, since they've been reprinted, a lot cheaper to get now too, which is awesome. And then for the last four monsters, I am running two of Effect Failure. I mean, it's really our only hand trap for the deck, so yeah, Effect Failure's still great and a cheap option too, so definitely recommend for that reason as well. Alright, moving on to our spell cards, I am running three of Sinet Storm. This is the brand new field spell that's in the structure deck, and it's actually pretty cool. I mean, it, what's great about it is, first off, it can power up your monsters, so that comes in handy for you. And then also, uh, being able to, where you're, you're taking damage, 2,000 or more battle damage or effect damage, you just get a free Link monster from the extra deck. It randomly lets you summon one of them. So, obviously with this, I mean, just getting a random Link monster is going to be great for you. I mean, you don't really care about taking damage then. And then, of course, just being able to power up whenever you have all your monsters linked together, because they have to be linked together to get that power boost. Yeah, that can, that can make them seriously powerful. I mean, uh, especially when you have all these different Link Monsters, because two of them don't have their own effects. It's just power code that actually has an effect. So being able to boost them up and be stronger like that, and you can link everything together, even with just the Link Monsters you have access to, is pretty good. So yeah, it is really great on that and helping, again, power up your Cybers. And go along with that, I am actually only using one terraforming because it's great to get the field spell, but it's not like one of these decks that's like, I need that field spell, or I don't feel like it is. So having one terraforming just gives me a, another way to search for it if I need to. So usually it's not too tough to get because you can thin down this deck fairly easily. Then after that, I am running two of Nightbeam, just some good spell and trap card destruction, only one I have access to, so I'm going to use it, plain and simple. Then of course, one of Scapegoat, more tokens, more Link Monsters. Then, of course, I'm running one of uh, Reasoning. Reasoning's great because it's another way to get monsters on the field. And it's only at one, you know, of course, with the ban list and everything. So having access to that, another way to bring out monsters, again, that can really come in handy for you. It's Cyverse. So, yeah, <laughs> just being able to bring out more is always better. And then the last of our spell cards, I'm using one for one. It's mainly for Acorn. I mean, yeah, just being able to bring that out, and then you get to special summon it, which in the special summon will let you get a token. So it can mean like an instant link monster in most cases too. So it's great to have it for that reason, and uh, yeah, just mainly there for the Acorn. And of course now, uh, moving on to our trap cards, I am running two of Packet Link, as well as uh, two of Call of Haunted, and then last but not least, two of Blazing Mirror Force. So yeah, these are the only traps I'm running. There's actually a lot of good options for trap cards, but I feel like these are the best options for this deck because first off with Packet Link, I mean, it's an easy way to get monsters on the field. You guys know that already. I mean, bringing out like Data Corn with that is great. So definitely recommend it for that reason. Call the Haunted, it's your revival card. So yeah, bring back any of your monsters like that easily. Sure, <laughs> again, that can definitely help you set up. And Blazing Mirror Force, I just like it because 
with this deck, I mean, if you are going against something with stronger monsters or something, or whatever, I mean, it, it's Mirror Force. It, it's one of the forms of Mirror Force. So, being able to wipe out your opponent's monsters that are in attack position like that, and then even do some damage to their life points, that's going to be pretty good, too. It's a great reprint for it, and any form of Mirror Force you can have access to is usually a good card to go with. So, yeah, definitely recommend it for that reason. And then, of course, moving on to the extra deck, which, uh, this is really simple. I'm using three of each of them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you have access to them? Go for them. So, I am using three of Power Code Talker. Then, of course, three of Ghost. And last but not least, I am running three of Lan, which I don't know how to say its full name, so that's what I'm going to call it. I know somebody gave me the pronunciation uh, today uh, whenever I did the structure deck opening, but uh, yeah, this is just a better way where I don't have to uh, hurt you guys by saying the name wrong. How about that? <laughs> so yeah, basically, it's just that simple. You have access to all three of these. Use them. I mean, they're easy to bring out, especially these two, these two new Link monsters, because they just require the monsters to bring them out really simple. I mean, they're some of the easiest to bring out Link Monsters. They can actually work in a lot of decks because of that, too. Then, of course, you have Power Code Talker, which is also your boss monster. Like I said, that and Segmental Dragon are kind of your boss monsters for this. Power Code, really easy to bring out, has great effects, can do a ton of damage, and also, if you have all these linked together with the Field Spell, yeah, they become actually really strong monsters. Again, they're just all easy to bring out, so why wouldn't you use three of each of them? It's really that simple. I mean, doesn't need any other explanation because of that. And they're all great Link monsters. And yep, there you go. That is my Cyber uh, Power Code Link deck profile for you guys. So yes, of course, uh, like I said, this is only using the three structure decks. And I gotta say, it's pretty fun to use too. The only downside is that it's tough to do a deck profile like this for Cybers because it's like I said when I did the, the opening for them, it's just with Cybers there's so many cards for them and this is like, what is it, like uh, technically the fourth deck of cards that we have right now in the TCG that's about Cybers. So it, it's tough to build off of that. It's not like we're, you know, Lair of Darkness where you know you have basically everything of that archetype in one structure deck. But of course, really, they're not that expensive anyway. So I do recommend trying them out. A lot of fun to use. If you love Link Summoning, Cybers is the deck for you. I mean, it's really that simple. If you want to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! now, you want to learn how to Link Summon, this is the option I think that's the best for you right now. But then again, too, uh, you might want to pick up some of the other cards as well. You might want to spend more than the $30 because you want things like Decode Talker and Encode Talker and basically all the different Talker monsters. I mean, let's just cut to the chase and everything you can get. And you don't even really need Firewall either. So the deck is pretty cheap to make anyway, and I feel like you get everything you need if you're just buying the single cards for under 50 bucks. I mean, maybe even cheaper than that, honestly, and you could probably trade for everything too. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I just thought it'd be kind of a fun idea to build something budget with this, and uh, let me know if you like this idea, if you want to see more budget deck profiles, and if I should do this every time there's a new uh, structure deck or starter deck, because, yeah, again, it's just a lot of fun to do. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a ton. Subscribe for more videos, and also ring that bell, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.